Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. I love you and I pray for you always. I'm here with a word from the Lord for us. When you see these signs in your relationship with someone, God is telling you to block them from your life. They shouldn't be in your life and you should block them. You should stop them, restrict them, access into your life. When God clearly removes someone from your life and they keep trying to come back, they keep pushing themselves into your life, it is a sign that God wants you to block them completely from your life, restrict them, access into your life. Maybe you're in a relationship with this person and you've been praying for clarity you've been praying to God and asking him if that is your if that is his will for you and all of a sudden the person comes and tells you it is over or God starts revealing their true identity maybe some lies that told you and it finally gives you the fortitude to break free from that relationship and move ahead and as time goes on they later come back and start scheming ways of coming back into your life they start trying to get back into your life and maybe you feel vulnerable you're confused you're asking god do you want us to get back together or do you want do you want the relationship to be over god gave you those signs because he wanted you to break free from them when they come back into your life and they and you give them access eventually they are going to either realize that they still do not have feelings for you if they were the ones who broke up with you they are still going to realize that they do not have feelings for you and leave you eventually or you are still going to realize that they have not changed from who they were maybe they are still the liars they were maybe they are still the cheat they were you're going to realize that your coming back together was just a waste of time sometimes the devil traps us in this vicious circle for a long time sometimes this circle happens for over five to six or seven times you keep breaking up and coming back after a long time that is the devil wasting your time these people are not supposed to be in your life god says block them do not feel bad from blocking them stop taking their calls stop replying to their sms's stop checking them out on social media break free from them and move on block them because they are not supposed to be in your life they are just time wasters and god cannot bless you when you keep holding on to something he has removed from your life break free from them block them restrict them access into your life and move on Another sign to know that God wants you to block someone from your life is when you keep hoping they are going to change, but they clearly show that they don't have any intentions of changing. This could be very difficult for us as Christians because we don't want to be judgmental. We want to help people change. But if they show that they don't want to change, if they show signs of them not wanting to change, there is nothing you can do about it. You cannot be unequally yoked with them. You cannot be with someone who does not want to change the bible says in the book of matthew that when someone does not receive you someone does not receive the good news shake off your feet and leave that place the bible clearly says in the book of james chapter 4 it says friendship with the world is enmity with god i would like to read that for us the bible says in the book of james chapter 4 and verse 4 adulterers and adulteresses do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with god whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy to god you don't want to be an enemy to god you have to follow god's instruction you have to heed to god's instruction as concerning who you spend your time with be it friendship or romantically involved relationship yes you have to love them like god says we have to care for the lost because god God himself he did the bible says for god so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life that is as much as god could do present to you the package of salvation it is your decision to take it but if you refuse to take it there is nothing god can do about it your work is just to pray for them that they receive salvation that they change but if they decide not to do that it it is therefore no longer into your hands. You have presented them with the gospel of the truth. If they cannot take it, there is nothing you can do about it. You've got to block them from your life because they are going to corrupt you eventually. 
If you're in a relationship with someone who does not value God, who does not love God, and you keep hoping that they are going to change and they show you that they don't have any intentions of changing, you can't value that relationship above God. You've got to let them go because they are going to change you. The Bible says evil communication corrupts good manners. As long as you remain with them, they are going to corrupt you. You've got to make a choice because they have made their choice. They have made a choice not to change so you've got to make a choice by letting them go you do not only let them go you block them restrict every kind of access from you another time to know that someone is not supposed to be in your life they don't deserve to be in your life is when they continually argue your belief system they continually fight and argue your belief system we are supposed to be the light of the world we are supposed to share the gospel of the truth but when we try to do that and we explain to the people as clearly as we can but they are bent on arguing and contradicting it with another doctrine block these people from your life they are no good to you the bible says in the book of romans chapter 16 from verse 17 and 18 it says now I urge you, brethren, not those who cause division and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you learned, and avoid them. For those who are such do not serve the Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by smooth word and flattering speech deceive the heart of the simple. Those kind of people should not be around you. If you have tried to tell them the truth, if you have tried to explain to them clearly the gospel of the truth, and they decide just to contradict you by false doctrine, stay away from them. We are not sent to argue with people. We are sent to guard our salvation with trembling. You cannot afford to let those kind of people around your circle, around your inner circle, or to engage in theological arguments with people who have made up their mind to just be against the Bible, against the Word of God. If you're dating that kind of a person, they will constantly challenge your Christian belief, they will constantly challenge your, re your religion, and that is not the healthy relationship at all. It can never lead to a godly marriage. God will not love you to be in that kind of relationship. If you find yourself in this position block those people from your life do not only break up with them do not only send them away from your life but restrict access restrict access make sure that they never have access into your life again because they're going to corrupt your christian doctrine and that relationship would never be healthy it will never be healthy because you have two opposing views you cannot be in a godly relationship together i pray these signs were able to help you i pray these signs are able to tell you when it is right to block people out of your life we know as christians we love people and we have burden to we have a burden in our heart to win the loss to to change them and to turn them over to christ but truth is we cannot win everyone our work is to to present to them the gospel and it is the work of the holy spirit to convict their hearts if they have refused to be convicted there is nothing we can do about it we cannot save the world we can only save those who are willing to be saved and that is too bad if it is someone who is not only a friend, who is not only an acquaintance, but someone you are romantically involved with. It cannot work. That relationship would never be healthy. Now is the right time to let them go and restrict them access from your life. If this video was able to bless you, please kindly consider to become a part of this family by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you're going to know. I love you so much and I pray for you always. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you and may he give you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you.